Happy morning, everyone. It's a happy morning for me because I'm going to look at some maps today. Uh, I'm going to look at some map and show you how I prepared for last summer's, so, well, one of the river crossings that I had last summer. Explain how I planned that and how I went through with it. And uh, we're also going to look at some of the river, one of the river crossings that I will have to prepare for. for this summer. So, let's go. This is Svarangarhalaya, where I was walking around last summer. And that's where I live. And further down here, you see, this is where I'm going to start this summer. I started up here, and this is just a small stream, which takes me to this junction here. At this point, I could probably cross the river several times if I had to, but I chose to stay on this side. That's sort of the issue all the way, to stay on this side. And as you can see here, from the, the real, obviously this is not the map, um, there's a, just a little stream and down there you will see the junction that I'm coming to. You can see some of the time it was quite difficult to stay on, on this side of the, the stream. I obviously could have crossed here, but I didn't really want to do that, so I was able to stay on this side. And further down here, I follow the stream there, and here's the junction. So here's where the, the other river is coming in and adding to it. As you can tell, it's growing now, and it's getting bigger. So part of the challenge is to stay on the right side of the, well, actually the left side, uh, but on this side of the river. And uh, there's a bit of snow on this side, but the snow is really packed so it's really easy to walk on so i i kept to my side and they was able to do that after this junction there's more obviously more water adding to and there's more or less twice the size and i'll have to keep on this side because i'll be wet if i cross now uh, and that brings me to this junction here where there's an extra river coming in here it doesn't look that big but that's because it's deep and um, you, so this is the second junction after this junction there's no way that I really would like to cross this river if I only if I really really had to but you can tell from the curves here that it's quite steep here so I wasn't sure but I hoped that I would be able to stay on this side because and the reason for that is once I get to this junction here, I have to cross this river here. And I don't want to cross it down here because that means I get both of these added and into that flow there. So this part, even though you will see on the pictures that it might look as if it isn't that bad, it's deeper and wider than this one. And this one is easier than this one, but this is where I really need to go because I need to stay on this side here. Because eventually I'm turning over here and taking this route and to my destination. Here's the stream that I've been following. And as you can tell, it's adding into a larger river that I need to cross. And so and over here, this is where I plan to cross this river. Well, the crossing went well. I don't have any footage of that because the... Um, well, my backpack was just shy of 20 kilos, so, and, well, I didn't want to drop anything in the, in the water, and I just had to focus on getting over there. It was okay, not, not a problem, but no footage, sorry. Well, as we say, that was water under the bridge, and this is next summer, 2021, 20, and, um, the first stream that I will have to cross will be over here. 
I haven't been here before and I don't know what it's going to be like. I know there's a probably this is one of the best places that you can cross it since the, the trail is going over here. But I'm coming here very early uh, uh, summer and so there's still a lot of um, uh, melting water in the in the mountains so I might be struggling so what do I do then well if I can obviously come down here and check and I probably will do that it might even be a bridge there for all I know but the options that I have is if I have been there checked that I'll have to go to go back and try over here because I have to go upstreams the, the water is flowing this way I have to go upstream. Going downstream is going, just going to be added more water to the river. So I have to go up. And so the first test will be coming up here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a fold on the map just there, but that's a dam. So I probably will be able to cross the dam. But that if that's closed and no water is flowing over here, that means this one is going to be just as bad as that one. But if this one if the water is flowing there there's probably going to be less water there than here so i'll have a go over here but i don't know what it looks like here so i it may not be possible if that doesn't work out i'll have to go back again well um, i'll have to go all the way around this lake um, and as you can tell there's more streams coming down here but these are aren't that hard but there might be snow on these sides and it's quite steep but it's not impossible to walk but it you see the some of the curves here are a bit well stressed if you like they sort of and so it's going to be awkward definitely it's going to be awkward to walk here but i can't think like that i can't say well oh it was a bad day because i had to go around there well i'll just have to do that and i might have to actually do some uh, fishing on the way to just to check it may be you know fishing is something i don't know much about so uh, some of you might think i'm stupid thinking to fish in this lake here um, well it's a lake fish lives in the lakes and so i probably would try uh, if i catch something i'm happy if i don't well it doesn't really matter and so i'll have to walk all the way around and then coming back onto the trail here. So that's the challenge that you might face uh, on a long trip. And it's not like I'm deciding before I go what to do, but I'm trying to see, trying to figure out what options do I have. I don't want to go all the way down to the road and cross the river there. Going on your own hikes, long or short, do take some time to check the map before you go familiarize yourself with the area and uh, some of the challenging challenging parts that you might face and uh, so once you arrive there you'll find that actually yeah well I've, it feels like you've been there before and uh, it's quite enjoyable and if it doesn't work out the way you thought it would at least you knew that might be an option in this video we haven't really seen my friends that are always coming with me. They were with me in Varanget in the first, last year and they will be with me this summer, hopefully. And as you will see, they like water. Thank you for watching.